What up, YouTube? It's your boy AQ. And listen, before we jump into the video, let me just say thanks to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the SDC fam. We are on the road to 100k subscribers right now. So if you guys appreciate the content, show some love right now and like and subscribe. Do so right now. All right, let's get into the video. Yo, I don't see the point of approaching women or bagging women. There's no point unless you know. The only way you get her is if you already know she's into you. So what if you're out somewhere and you find an attractive woman? You're not going to go up to her? There's no point. Why? Because they choose. There's absolutely no point of, <sighs> what do you mean how? But how do you know you're not chosen if you don't go up to her? You don't have to go up to her. Yo, you, yo, when a woman wants what she wants, she shows you that she wants it. Not L all women lie. Do that. All y'all looking at the camera. Lie, lie. Say y'all don't. These women throw. Listen, there's dudes that don't gotta do nothing but breathe. Hey, I think you're so handsome. I think you're this. Women will come up to them. I used to be one of those guys. And then which I'm, one? <laughs> which one were you? Come on now. Which one were you? The you know, one that women used to come up to you? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yo, you. I mean, look, he's not lying. Women are going to choose. That's just the bottom line. But here's the thing, bro. If you see a woman that you think is drop dead gorgeous, like you think like that's you right there, like she's mad attractive to you. She's like a 10 in your eyes or whatever the case may be. You got to make the approach, bro. Don't be a dummy and sit back and be like, women be choosing. So I'm just going to sit here and wait for a choosing signal. And if I don't get one, she's not into me. You still a man. You still got to make the approach. You still got to be aggressive. And it's either going to be a yes or a no. But the problem is a bunch of y'all dudes are afraid of rejection. Nothing is wrong to get rejected by a badass chick, bro. Like, if a chick is bad and she rejects you, give yourself a pat on the back for making the approach at least. Shooter's going to shoot. The worst thing a man could be is a man who's scared to shoot, bro. Because I also know a few dudes who play the numbers game. Their thing is they go out and they approach like 20 women. They don't care. They make the approach and they know they're going to get at least five or six numbers. Because here's the thing. Even if a woman don't like you physically, she might like your conversation. Women are emotional creatures, bro. It's easy to change a woman's mind. All you got to do is show her something new and make her curious. So the bottom line is, man, make the approach if she's attractive, fam. Trust me. Don't be a fool and sit back and wait for a choosing signal. Because like 20 dudes probably finna approach her. But you can't forget, this is a competition, dog. You got to compete once you out here. Once you out here in the jungle, you got to compete. So keep that in mind, fellas. So she, I was dating this chick, right? She, um, we was dating for a couple weeks. You know what I'm saying? She asked to come over one day. She slid on me. And my son there. Now, at the time, I would have girls come over while my son was there, but I just make sure he would sleep. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I tell him go to sleep. Um, and she pulls up. He not sleep though. You know how that be. He mm -hmm. like he like five, so it's like he ain't the timing was off. You know what I'm saying? But he in his room though. He laying down, so I let her come in. You know what I'm saying? We chilling. He come out the room. I I tell him like you know hey go go ahead go back in there go to sleep whatever. He see you. He see her though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like go ahead go back in there go to sleep whatever. She get that like, um why are you trying to make him go to sleep? Let him stay up. Ooh, ooh. And I'm kind of like hey like just just relax chill out. You know what I'm saying? You had to kick it with me. You don't got nothing to do with him. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I think I went to the kitchen to do something. I come back and she in his room you know. with a, a phone out trying to watch a movie with him. And I'm like, yo, what you doing? And she like, what you mean? Like, I'm like, he ain't want to go to sleep. I'm trying to, you know, show him a movie until he falls asleep. I'm like, I'm like, sweetheart, like, no. First mm -hmm. of all, I haven't known you that long. Second of all, I told him to go to sleep. So now she going back and forth with me in front of him about me telling him to go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I, I'm like, hey, can you, you know, step out the room real fast, right? 
So my now my son, you know, he taking her side. He's like, mm-hmm. yeah, let me stay up. Let uh, me. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. He kind of like trying to take up with her. <clears throat> so I'm like, hey, step out the room real fast. So I step in my room with her, and I'm like, hey, stop fucking playing with me. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about. I'm like, hey, man, stop. Like, don't, don't ever, 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 ever do that. You know what I'm saying? So now you got me looking like the bad guy to my son. You going against me in front of my son. Plus, we don't have no type of rapport. I don't even want you to see my son. So for you to go in his room and and like. Damn near like getting his bed and try to show him a movie. That's already overstepping the boundary. And then you trying to go back and forth with me in front of him, like you're tripping right now. She gets pissed. What? She gets pissed. Walk out the crib, slam the front door, walk downstairs, um, slam the, the the downstairs door. Now she's locked out. She she got she left her phone on accident. Now she locked out. <laughs> now she knocking on my tenant window on the first floor. They calling me like it's some girl knocking on the window trying to get it. So I go back down and give her a phone. She turned up, mad as hell. And then I'm like, I'm walking up to her car, like, you know, just go ahead, go home. Woo woo, ain't no big deal. I'm keeping it cool. Like, we out. I don't do the pub. I don't do yeah. I don't argue with chicks like on that <clears throat> level, at that high of a level anyway, but definitely not in public. Like, hell no. Nah. So, um, and I'm kind of new on the block. I had just bought my building like maybe a few years. Like, I mean, not a few years, but maybe a few months before this. So I'm like, I ain't even trying to have a reputation. So anyway. Right. I'm trying to get it in the car or whatever. I'm like, hey, you know, just gonna go home. She like, boy, don't, don't, don't touch my car. I slap the shit out you. <clears throat> and I'm like, hey, I just pause. I'm like, hey, you will never see me again. Like oh, this God. is the last time we will ever speak. Just off the physical threat, I don't play them type of games at all, at all, at all. So I'm like, hey, this is the last time we ever speak. Today, that's what we we chopping it up about. What to do when your boundaries get crossed? When somebody really, when a woman really crossed that. This right here is crazy. But what I would say is this. He was in the wrong to me for even bringing her to the crib knowing that his son was still up. If you don't want a bird around your child, don't bring her around your child if you know your child is not fully asleep. Because it's never that serious. And then look what happened. He brought her to his crib. She didn't respect him at all. Because that's all this really is. This is... See, this is why you got to be careful dealing with birds. Like when a woman don't respect you, that's the type of shit she will do. She's not going to listen to you. Even though you told her like your son was good before you look up, she's in the room with your son. That's crazy. And as men, we got to be wise out here. We can't put ourselves in situations like this and be surprised at the outcome because the shit could have go left. Like he could have snapped on her. But he got to remember, he invited her over. And that's why I keep telling you all, man, treat a bird like a bird. And it's never that serious, man, to be chasing after some pussy if the time is not right. Fellas, be wise out here. This right here is crazy look fellas if your girl goes on a trip and comes back this happy and excited somebody smash her bro i'm just keeping it real somebody cracked that and she's all happy because in her mind she got away with it she got away with it bro but you got to understand something about women dog they are emotional creatures fam all you got to do is pay close attention to your girl. Observe your girl and you will see exactly who she is, bro. Just off the fact that his girl made a video like this, women are very subtle. So it's like they say things without saying it. But if you pay close attention, you will see exactly who she is, bro. This right here is crazy. Fellas, if your girl goes on a trip, without you it's best to just leave her alone trust me because you gotta think what women does on vacation bro they have fun all they do is drink and have fun bro you think they ain't trying to smash somebody out there come on bro fellas be wise out here when ugly men shoot their shot at me it really lowers my self-esteem because you looked in the mirror this morning and then saw me later on during the day and said yeah she want me she gonna want me bro no that hurt my feelings. Like, I don't know. I just like, God, forgive me. Let me not talk about your children on the internet. But for real, the message, it, hopefully you understood it. Don't come my way if you don't look great A. Clean, well kept, and no kids. 
big pockets. They got to be at least match mine, but hopefully they way bigger. Because what the heck is going on out here? Like, I really feel like I want to get restraining orders on y'all sometimes just because the audacity. What the fuck going on? If you haven't yet, go get you some of that merch. You all already know, don't feed the birds. That's what it is. We don't feed the birds over here. So if you rock with your boy, go get you some of that good merch.